<sighs> I'm back. Okay, so it is June 25th, 2014. I put I put a little uh, I put a little timestamp. Okay, so uh, even though like it doesn't really matter if it has a timestamp or not, I don't normally put a timestamp because it doesn't matter. But this is the day that it arrived in the mail, so pretty stoked it's about that. And I even thought I would share the moment of opening the package with y'all. Um, I normally don't do that. Normally I would open it just because the excitement. But I've, I've actually managed to contain that excitement to this very moment. And I have to open it now. So I'm freaking curious as frick. So I want it's, it actually is, as I mentioned earlier, from Argentina. So I think that's pretty cool. What is it, you are wondering? Well, wouldn't you be able to tell from the title, I'm thinking. But... Okay, I'm doing the opening. The suspense. See, so it's... it's I, I made the incisions. And the revealing. Oh. Smells like Argentina. I mean, no offense, but I did. It smelled kind of like peanut butter. I got a little whiff of like, I don't know, the air from Argentina. Does anyone else do that? Smell packages? Like, I feel really weird because, like, you know, in The Simpsons, where there was that episode where, like, they end up all getting really sick because there's, like, some virus or something in the package from the air from China or something. I always wonder that, like, because that is possible. Like, you could, should you not smell the packages? But I'm just curious, because it's the air from there, right? I'm weird. <laughs> but here's the, here's the pendant. I can, I can see through that. Of course, it's wrapped in many a layers of tape. So, and I don't want to do the video editing, so. If you have impatience problem, just skip through the part where I have to hack this with a knife. The suspense, okay, like, if I was by myself right now, I'd be freaking out, but I'm just, like, showing you people, so. Gotta remain a little reserved. It is very nice. So here is it in its packaging. I'll take I'll take it out of the all of if all of the plastic. Quite impressed with it because it's platinum, and it is 18 karat gold, and it's from Argentina. It's a cross. I already have a cross on. This one's 18 karat. This one's platinum. Uh, they're both really cool and interesting. And I'm happy with, like, I was, it didn't say online how much it weighed, but because of the size, I figured that, like, unless it was very thin, it would have to weigh, like, it would have to have an okay weight. Oh, come on, I wouldn't even want to come out of the thing. The first moment of coming out of the packaging. Caught on tape. So here's the Platinum. I wish it would focus. But there's stones on it. And the 18 karat, because it's gold on the... It's 18 karat gold in the back. don't really know why they wouldn't just make it pure gold or pure Platinum. But now I will do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, for reference to how, how big it is. Because like, it's... Uh, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. I like it. I'm quite fond of it. It looks really awesome in in person. Like the camera is not doing it justice. Like I'll even try to The stones in it aren't real. It, that was one aspect. I paid $200 for it. Um it's real platinum, I can tell just by the weight and the feel of it. So I have a bunch of platinum jewelry. 
and the reason that it was only two hundred dollars is because the stones in it are zirconia or like uh, quartz or something like it's not diamonds and rubies they're maybe garnets and quartz but it's real platinum and it's really interesting to me and I'm glad that I could share this experience with you and uh, it is just so lovely like sorry I'm I'm actually just so impressed with how how awesome it is like I wasn't expecting to like it this much but I do thank you for watching please subscribe and check out all my other videos I have so many so many <laughs> laters Mwah.